Hello YouTube, Jonathan 800 here. So I decided to do the most overdone path in Kaiserreich, which I believe is Huey Long's American Union State. But before we begin, my first ever Equestria at War game will be played and be posted when the channel reaches 1000 subscribers. So subscribe if you want to see me play with ponies. With Long's election only compounding the political divisions in America, things begin to go downhill. With the Supreme Court striking down Sharer wealth, Long decides to pack the courts. MacArthur and the army then decides to coup the government, which starts the conflict. MacArthur relocated the federal government to the west to quickly strike down the Pacific states, but allowed Long's American Union state and Reed's combined syndicates of America to take the east coast. The union at the beginning created encirclements on the Federalists and Syndicalists, while the Federalists failed to crush the Pacific states swiftly. After initial gains, the Syndicates were able to hold up a defense while the Federalists took more losses. The Syndicalists, weakened after a failed naval invasion, was the first to fall. Patton and other generals rushed up towards Cleveland, splitting them in two. This quickly caused the downfall of the combined syndicates as most of their army was trapped and destroyed in the east. With the strongest opponent in the conflict taken care of, the rest soon followed suit. Despite the end to the fighting, there was still New England, which watched the American Union state consolidate America. Due to them siding with the Entente, an offer was made by Canada to give New England back if the American Union state joined the Entente. After much deliberation in Washington, America would join the Entente to prevent more Americans from fighting each other. Joining the Entente, however, meant to fight in the upcoming Weltkrieg. America quickly took care of Mexico, installing a new government from its old syndicalist one. Afterwards, the U.S. Army was sent to Spain to push back the Communards. Patton's light tanks and motorized smashed through the front lines, causing lots of damage to them. Patton did another risky maneuver by driving to the Mediterranean from Bordeaux, which paid off with having a large portion of the Internationale's army encircled. Patton continued to make grand maneuvers which further weakened the false French government until their capitulation. With France liberated, eyes were set on the Union of Britain. The Canadians successfully made a landing in Newcastle, which allowed the US Army to rush in and reinforce. With most of the British troops already destroyed in France, the Union of Britain soon fell, along with the Internationale, though Italy will be taken later. After the Internationale was defeated, it was time for cleanup. American troops were often the key deciding factor in dealing with enemy countries. With all of America's contributions, America would soon lead the Entente and possibly the New World Order with the Cold War between the Reichspakt and the Entente. With that, thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, you know the deal, and this is Jonathan800 signing out.